Welcome to Brain Games. This is Frankie from the New Jersey Self-Advocacy Project. Each Thursday at 1 p.m., my co-host Aaron and I invite you to join us on Zoom for live interactive board games. Test your creativity and knowledge and have fun. Go to our website shown on the screen to find the link to join. Before we start, Aaron is going to talk about the many online offerings of New Jersey Self-Advocacy Project. So here you go. This is what we have going on throughout the week. Mondays, we have uh, Veronica from Vero Pure Green posting on our social media. And that's on all of our social media. Tuesdays, we have our Stay Healthy at Home webinar. That's at 2 p.m. And we have a really fun one coming up on Tuesday. Uh, if you would like to see webinars from the past, you can go on our website. They are all recorded. And you can also get the handouts and the slides for that. Um, if you want to sign up for the new ones, again, you can go to our website, which is at the bottom of this page. On Wednesdays, we have interactive Zoom events for HLP Live, and that's 11 a.m. <laughs> we also post in-home trainings video on our social media as well. Uh, Thursdays, obviously, we play brain games. And then Fridays, we post a recipe video. And we also have another HLP live session with in-home training. And that is at 1 p.m. So we also have trainings we're doing all around the state virtually. So we um, have an array of trainings already made. You can go on our website and uh, sign up for at our uh, awesome training page that Frankie made. And that is uh, ready to go right on our website. Easy link to follow. Enter in your information and you can see all of the trainings that we provide as well. Thanks, Aaron. All right, thank you for telling me that. Dylan, what's your dog's name? Capone. Me... It's Capone. Cap what is it? Capone. Capone with a C. Oh, and he just booped his nose. Yeah, the, the one with the black nose. <laughs> Very I love, cute. I love booping their noses. <laughs> oh, and he has different color eyes. Really? Yeah, left side's blue, right side brown. Wow, that's so cute. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah he gave me paw this morning. Aww. He's like, Dylan, run me my belly now and don't do this. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> I love puppies. <laughs> Yeah, you. All right, so um, I guess we can add in anyone if they come in later. Um, did you want to try this all together or we just try to get as many answers as we can? Or did you guys want to actually do teams as they would in Family Feud? Uh, would it be easier maybe to go down a list like they do in Family Feud and each person submits an answer? Yeah, that's good, that works just like they do in Family Feud, that might work because there's only six of us. Yeah, uh, five. It says on my laptop. Your home is wife, pretty Erin. What? Your home is, he, he spelled it wrong, but your home is quite pretty. He said white pretty, but oh. your, it's quite pretty, Erin. Well, thank you. I guess you, you haven't had a backdrop that he's uh, seen with your living room or whatever that is before. Oh, I moved my office to downstairs, but I was on the other side. So you saw like the wall and the window and it was pretty plain looking. So I went to the other side of the room. So the light was facing me. So this is like a new background, but to be honest, I am like blocking a whole big mess in that room. <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's get this going. I think there's some music we can get here too. All right. Go to the first round. All right. What do you? What do you do after putting hot food in your mouth? Okay. So, yeah, our first one is what do you do after putting hot food in your mouth? So, like, what would your reaction be? We've got five answers. 
So we could go down the list. Um, so first on my list is Adam. Adam, yes. do you wanna, do you wanna take an answer? Uh, should we put the question? Answer. I'll put the question in the chat. What do you do after you put hot food in your mouth? Take your water. Drink, Drink a water. water. Good answer. Like that answer. Ooh, Show me water. drink water. <laughs> Good job. And Dylan, you are next. Okay. What do you do after you put hot food in your mouth? Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is tricky. <laughs> All right. Um. Maybe imagine it, thinking, you know. <laughs> yes, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating and it's hot. What do you do? Hmm. You can always skip if you don't have an idea. That's okay too. Yeah, yeah. I might want to think about it. Okay. All right, William, you are next on the list. What do you do after you put hot food in your mouth? So I put the question in the chat. I see we just had Ashley join and Tech CC at the ARC. Thanks for oh, joining. Oh, okay, now we're unmuted. Okay. Go to work and Work, go to work and chew. 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 Hot food? You're just going to uh, chew? Uh, you sure? Okay. All right. You're going to keep going on with it? All right. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Actually, I think. Uh, uh, that counts, right? Go uh, put down. You're going to keep going. You're going to eat it anyway. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tech CC at the ARC, you're next on the list. We're playing Family Feud. We have the question, what do you do after you put hot food in your mouth? And we have the answers, gulp it. And we have the answer, drink water. So what do you wanna think of uh, what you would do after you put hot food in your mouth we're still looking for the first answer with the most answers, number four and number five. So I'm just gonna ask you to unmute. Do you wanna give us an answer of what you do after you put hot food in your mouth? And you can also skip to if you wanna think about it or move on to the next person if you can't think of anything. Yeah, and just let us know. You can unmute and say out loud or you can use the chat. Chat, yes. Does anybody at TechCC want to respond? Hello, hi. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just gathering some people here. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, no what, uh, it takes a little time until we get some people here in this okay. room. That's fine. Um, you can just let us know when you're ready if you want. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, you can sit there. Oh. Frankie, do you, you see the answers in front of you? I do, yeah. Okay, so you can't guess. No. So oh. Ashley, you would be next on the list. Do you want to take a guess? What to do after you put hot food in your mouth? Yeah. Ooh, um, I think we all know that reverse cooling technique. 
like blowing out, trying to get some heat out. <laughs> um, let's see. Did, did Tech CC have something to say? Sorry. I oh, just need to unmute. Aaron, would you like to ask them to unmute again? I yeah. think we doubled up and canceled it out. Tech CC, you just need to unmute again. Sorry. Okay. Awesome. All right. Do you guys so. have any guesses for this prompt? What would you do after you've put hot food in your mouth? What do you do, guys? Do you do drink water or you go with? What do you do? Those are what the answers. Have? Those are the answers that are already said. So we're oh, looking for other answers. Um, so what do you think? Drink water. Water. Uh, I don't get any answers here out of that. <laughs> no worries. I guess drink water, right? Or hot, uh, okay. What do you think? Drinking no. water? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you said yeah. yes. What about you, Miss Jean? <laughs> what about, should we try like fanning your mouth or fanning your face? What do you something think? Like that, guys, Frankie or Eric, maybe that's something. Um. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah you would say so? Okay, she said yeah. Yeah? Banning mm -hmm. your face? Let's see if this works. Oh, not doing it. There you go. <laughs> not <Whoa>. on the list. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. We get three of those. Three more X's. options. You know. Um, so do you want to try Ashley's answer? Like blowing? Like I was kind of oh, counting that it was just like blowing, blowing and fanning. Yeah. Oh. Blowing or fanning, blowing, okay. Neither of them are on there. Any bit. other guesses, guys? This is a weird prompt. <laughs> um, what, are, what do we do with hot food in our mouth? I don't know. We just need two more wrong guesses to move on, right? That's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> out there. Milk. Adam said milk. Drink milk. Oh. And Dylan, good call. I think that is a really great answer, um, but unfortunately it is not one of the answers. Okay. How about spit it out? Oh. Yeah. Spit it out. There All right, go. so back down the list. Adam, it's your turn again. Do you want to give another oh, yeah. answer? Yeah. Oops. yeah. All right, so we have spit it out, gulp it, drink water, fan your fan your face, and drink milk. So those were already taken. So what's something else you would do after you put hot food in your mouth? I'll also give you a hint here. It's not necessarily the um, best thing to do, just something that might happen. <laughs> you might do it, um, you know, just your first reaction. Eat sour cream. Uh, Eat sour cream? Uh, no, I can't get the excess to work for me, but there's no more eating or drinking things. <laughs> okay, so we just need one more incorrect okay. answer to move green. on. Dylan, it is your turn. Dylan, do you wanna do you wanna think yeah, of putting it in the chat? Okay. <laughs> Walking outside. Oh. To cool down a little bit. All right. And that one, unfortunately, not there. Oh, we're See, we have to guess. Frankie, what's with the X? <laughs> they only work sometimes. Yeah, I like click it and sometimes it decides oh, to work and sometimes it decides okay. to not work. 
There we go. go. Oh, there, there we go. We go. <laughs> what are these answers? I can't even imagine. That, I, so. I have a guess. Is it cursing? Oh, or yelling. Well, I would count that. I think for that. Down one. hot, hot. Good. Hot, 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 hot. hot. I would have allowed that, and then um. Oh, I guess I should have done the points before then. Let me do those first. Uh, and then the last one, I would not have thought of this, but I guess you definitely could happen. You're just no. too hot. Wow. Wow. Like, oh. You don't want that. You don't want that. No, you don't want that. That's right. <laughs> All, All right. right. <laughs> so let's go to another question. Yeah, that makes a lot. All right. So, William, you're up next. The thing okay. in the sandwich, something Ooh. like sandwich. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is on the sandwich? Yeah, you, you're missing it, huh? You, 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 what's going on? You're, you're, down. Down. you're missing, you're missing your target. He's down. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he's still working on it, hold on. All right. Do you know how to prepare meat. sandwich? Lunch meat. <laughs> All right. Lunch meat. Yeah. Good one. Uh, cheese. I think somebody cheese. Was there. Yes. Cheese. 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 You were next. So cheese. Good answer. All nice. Right. Ashley, you're oh, up. What about some green? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Looks like one of the folks at Tech CC had a, a suggestion. Lettuce and tomato. I don't know if you can say it in one. <laughs> oh, that sounds like two guesses. Let's go with lettuce. Going down okay. the list there. Lettuce. Oh, Good job. Nice. And you guys also came up with tomato as well? Yeah. Right. So what do we think? That's right or not, but you know. it definitely is a good answer, but it's yeah. not one of the top answers they have put here. Okay. All right. So um can I guess condiments like ketchup, mayo, mustard? Yeah, um, mayo. Ken right. and unfortunately. Really? Yeah. All right, Adam. Adam, you're up next. Do you have any ideas? So we said meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, ketchup, mustard. As a hint, these last two answers are for a very specific sandwich. Oh. Okay. Adam, do you have um, any ideas? Mayonnaise? Oh, uh, we said mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, good. Fred. Yep. That is a fantastic answer, but unfortunately, <laughs> not the one we're looking for. What uh, the I you. That was a good guess, Adam. <laughs> that was a very good guess. I agree. You definitely need bread to have a sandwich. But that wasn't a bad guess. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah it was a really yeah, good. Yeah, and guess. Dylan, Dylan said mayo too. Uh, sometimes Family Feud, you know, the people giving the answers are just not giving the best answers. So That's the ones true. that are left, um, let's give it some more. What about what else put on this sandwich, um, guys? And then peanut the butter. butter. So can you, can you guess what the last one might be? Peanut butter and jelly. Jelly. So, jam or jelly? Yeah. Hey, we still did right, good. We got the top three. Yeah, yeah, right in a row, too. All right, Good job. I like being right. the footage. Prompt number three, and uh, Dylan, you are up. Something that helps when you feel tense. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So what do you think, when you feel tense? Right, Dylan, what helps you uh, when you feel tense? Okay. See, What's something you do when you start to get a little tense? So, 
Like, this is actually a good guess for me. So I'm going to go with yoga. Oh, oh. nice. That is a fantastic oh. answer. I really wish I could say it was on the board. <laughs> um, I think what we practice here is um, counting up to 10 or something like that. Counting oh, 10. Down. Yeah. Counting to 10. I like that a lot too. It's also not on the board. Right? Okay. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, there's a also lot of the, the sound. I'm like, oh, I forgot about all this on Family Feud. We don't have to do the action. Very aggressive. Uh, okay. <laughs> These are so good, though. Yoga, counting 10. Any yeah. other guesses? Actually, it's your turn. Do you want to take a shot? Let's see. If you're feeling tense, um, taking a deep breath. Did we say that? Good answer. Yep. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay Let, let's see what, what these are this is just they're i mean they're very specific i think you know these are fine they're just you know if we had 10 of them maybe we would, they would all be on there show us what these are yes please you want everything to reveal <laughs> yep all right okay oh Ooh. my gosh okay Okay. Call a friend. <laughs> Drink. I'm sure I would have counted a hot beverage, have some tea. They meant water. Water. They meant anything. Water. Right. Right. Maybe oh, water. Water. Okay. Chocolate. I certainly <laughs> am a fan of a little bit of chocolate. Uh, okay. <laughs> and a nap. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All of the answers you guys said were really good answers. I like your answers a lot better. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. All right, so Adam, you're back up. Round four. Something that makes you feel like a kid again. Go, Adam. Go, Adam. I don't need that shit either. Wow. Jeez. Playground? Yes. Oh. oh. I think that's a really Frankie. good Frankie. I'm trying to. It's not on here. <laughs> uh, really thicky. Okay. I agree, though, Adam. It's nice to go hit the swing set. That's fun. Oh, that that's a really good answer. Um. Oh, wait. Did we? Uh, William, sorry. Did we get to you? I think I might have skipped William. What is the question again? Uh, Something okay. that makes you feel like a kid again. What would it be? Oh, oh. you're going to type it? Uh, you need to sit better. I can see why you're having trouble. Just uh, why, are you, why are you using two hands? I don't know. Uh, but he usually is a lefty anyway, so I was sitting on the wrong uh, side. Okay, why don't you go in? You can find it. I'm also a lefty. <laughs> I know what you're going for. I want to see as you went for that letter. Where is it? Trampoline. Trampoline. Oh, a trampoline. You know what? Frankie, come on. <laughs> Yay! Good one. Good answer. All right, back up to Dylan. Dylan, do you have an idea? for something that makes you feel like a kid again. Oh my gosh, I always feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, this is a, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with, which I always love going on vacation. So I'm gonna go with the beach. Oh, oh. good answer, Dylan. Thank you. See, uh, <laughs> I like, feel like an antagonist now. I'm going to go with the beach and vacation as an answer. All right. Because you said that. And I'm going to count that as going somewhere like Disney. Oh, okay. yay. There, there we go. go. I love Disney. All 
Right. Tech CC, what do you guys think? What is something that makes you feel like a kid again? Oh, you guys are muted. I'm just going to ask you to unmute. There you go. Something that makes you feel like a kid again. We have Disneyland, yeah. vacation and beach, jumping on a trampoline. We also said a playground. And was there another answer we said? Maybe dancing? Dancing. 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 Good answer. I sure. really like that answer. Oh, Not Frankie. On the board. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> All right, Adam, you put something in the chat too. Do you want to say that answer? What was that? Can you say that again? Party. A costume party? Yes. Yes. Oh. That's oh. oh. All right. I'm going to a little bit here costume party like halloween right and you know what we do on halloween mm -hmm. we eat candy we eat candy <laughs> <laughs> nice adam you got us there adam also put toys in the chat can we try that answer uh toys you know and i think that'll count playing with kids playing with kids yeah. okay <laughs> Frankie is being very generous. <laughs> All right, uh, Dylan, you're up next. What would you like to uh, guess for? We have one answer left for something that makes you feel like a kid again. Oh, geez. Um, I'm going to go with the playground. Oh, we said that. Oh, you did say that. Yeah. So I will say, I see Adam put swimming in the chat, which is a really good one. Like that's something you tend to learn as a kid, right? So what's something else, maybe a, a, a physical activity, something you do outside that you usually learn when you're a kid? What about... Um, well, I think... I what think about I walking? I think uh, I heard Tech CC say something. Yeah. Ew. Maybe they'll help you out, Dylan. Okay. Do you guys want to say uh, your answer again? I'm in it. Oh, was that Adam's dad? That's the Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was Tech CC. <laughs> No. So, yeah. So, Dylan, you said walking. Yeah. All right. So that's a good answer. But I think Adam's dad had a good guess. Adam, what was your dad's guess? Shit. Sledding. Oh, that is really oh, good. Oh, that is not the one. No. What did your dad oh, no. just say? Adam, what was your dad saying? Um, he said is something that you do you learn to do when you're you learn to ride when you're a kid yes. Yes. oh two wheels you start off with three wheels uh, oh that one bike got it did we almost get it? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> bicycle. Whoa. It's good. Right. Teamwork. Good. I think that was yeah. a lot of really good answers. <laughs> all good answers, honestly, but we yeah. have to find the ones on the board. All right, William, you are up for our next prompt. Let's see what it is. Go, William. All right, I'm going to skip. I, I don't remember what all these are, but I think five was not one that was very good. And six. Oh, I feel like this one's a little weird. Another word for restaurant. Let's try it. Wow. Okay. Another word for a restaurant or somewhere where you might. In the diner. 
<laughs> oh, diner. He's at diner. diner. Well, you know, we're all from Jersey, right? <laughs> nice. Number diner. one. So, William, do you have a guess for another word for a restaurant? I would say restaurants kind of stretching these. I would just say somewhere where you might eat food or drink. Like I gotta get something to drink or something to eat. So terms for places you eat. Eating <laughs> place. I'm sorry, William, can you say that again? Eating place. Eating place? Not eating so, place. Oh, a restaurant. Is there another word? Eating place, yes. Eating place, yes. Yes, eating place. You want to go with eating place? What's that? I'm saying they don't need All right, well, eating place isn't on the list. I agree. All right. So, Frankie, you said no? No eating place. All right, uh, we're back up to Adam. Outback. Adam and Outback? Yes. Uh, well, they're not any specific places. There's more of like general terms. So I think like, yeah, steakhouse is actually a great answer, uh, but it's not. <laughs> That would have been a good one. I think it should be on there. <laughs> All right. There's one uh, that's kind of similar, though. Dylan, do okay. you have a guess for another word for a place where you eat? eat? <laughs> OK, so we have diners. So I'm actually thinking of this restaurant, and I am going to go with grill. Oh, a grill. Oh. That's really good too. It's not on the list. Hmm. I like that though. I think that should have been on the list. I think yeah. so. Yeah. You know what? I think the issue is when they make these, I think you have to pay to make them more than five. So I think a lot of these would have more than five answers with a lot of things we've been saying because mm. you can only fit five. True. All right. So Tech CC, you guys said diner. Do you have any other guesses for another word for a place that you eat? Another word for a restaurant besides diner? Eatery. 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 He said eatery. Eatery. Michael said eatery. Eatery? Yeah. Non-eatery. Two of them on here are something that like you get a specific item at this place. And then another one is more of a communal eating area. Uh, what about cafeteria? That's a place where we eat together. Like remember your school cafeteria? A lot of people eating in the same area. Can I guess a coffee shop? You may. Because Starbucks comes to mind. Yeah. Starbucks. Yeah. And there's Me another too. one very similar to a coffee shop. It's a simple. Mm -hmm. Cafe. There you go. Isn't that much that? different than a... Huh. Adam, you had a guess. What would? What was your guess? Kitchen table. A kitchen table? <laughs> uh, I mean, that is definitely somewhere you eat. <laughs> if, you, if you're eating in your kitchen, you make food. Good answer, not on the list. Hey. This one, the last one is you go to eat something very, uh, a certain item here. Is it an ice cream store? Uh, That's what I was going to guess, Adam. <laughs> that wasn't great. Not Who are cream. these people they asked? Yeah. Right? <laughs> William. It's more like um, something you might want to get quick, not not a not a healthy option really. <laughs> oh, so a a quick unhealthy mm. option. So William, do you have any ideas for another name for something that's quick and maybe not so healthy? Okay. Well, we know that one, right? Michael, what do you think? Yeah. Term for that kind of place. 
McDonald's. McDonald's. All right. So I would count something. So like burger, somewhere you get burgers, burger thing, something or a place specifically for burgers. I, I was have. thinking fast food. Yeah, I would. Okay. I was counting fast food. A lot of them are burgers. Huh? Did it, guys? <laughs> Ooh. Woo, woo. Right. Okay. I like mac and cheese burger. Mac and cheese burger. Oh. Um, <laughs> I like mac and cheese anything. I know, <laughs> right? Okay. Well, seven. Oh, oh siblings fight over this. Oh, All right, Tech CC, do you have any guesses for siblings fight over this? This is yeah. tough. everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> any guesses for sibling fight over this? Hmm. What do you think? You guys thought about things? Are you with your brother or sister? Do you know or something? Yeah. Dylan, good guess. While Tech CC is thinking, Dylan said TV remote in the chat. Right? Yeah. The number one answer. Yeah. Oh, Yay! Hey. Good, Dylan. That was a great, great answer, Dylan. Yeah, the TV shows, right? Oh, what TV shows to watch? Yeah, TV shows. TV shows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big, that was a big fight with me and my sister. Yeah. <laughs> is that on there, Frankie? Specifically? No, I think remote is essentially TV shows. So. All right. Adam, movies. I think that would be considered part of the. Yeah, because there are only five. So I think that's kind of the same area. So it's a little different. Adam, do you have any guesses? Actually. Hey, uh, what, what do you think? Adam, you were what? Adam, you were making a guess, right? What was your guess? Action. Can you say that again? Or type it in the chat if that's. That would work for you. Action. Action. Oh, like action movies? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, like uh, a type of movie that you would want to watch. Yeah. I, I agree that, you know, you might want to watch different movies, but uh, not a separate thing on the list. I have like a million guesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? It's, it's pretty growing up. <laughs> But William, do you have a guess for something that siblings fight over? Legos. 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 Oh, yeah. iPad. Oh. Legos iPad. I think those are great answers. Not on the board. But definitely like something, you know, some kind of entertainment, you know. Right. Let's see. Um Text CC, do you have another guess for something that siblings fight over? And I'm just going to ask you to unmute again. No. No bouncing on the bed. <laughs> All right. Adam. Do you have another guess for something siblings fight over? Oh, you wrote phone. Do you want yes. to guess? Yeah, that's a good guess. Oh, phone is a good answer. It's not on here. Oh, I mean, yeah. like yeah. back in the day when you had like one corded phone in the house with a landline. Oh yeah, I was fighting over that. 
right. Seriously. Dylan, do you have any ideas? Um one of them might be if you have a sibling that's like close to your age, maybe they you might borrow something and get into a fight over this. Oh, oh that's a good one. Um or depending, maybe you have a lot of siblings, there's not a lot of space, so there's one that's about that kind of Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not Adam. <laughs> um I'm going to go with money. Mm, money. Oh, that's a good one. It's not on the list. No. Oh, my goodness. No money? No money. No money. No money, no, money, no phone. No. Did we say clothing? Oh, on the list. Clothes. Yeah. Oh, OK. Uh, William, do you have another idea for something that siblings fight over? We. Uh, yeah. We. Like a high and we have we oui. oui. oh like an like a Nintendo Wii? Yeah. Oh okay. Oh. Okay. I thought it was a start to more. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um video, yeah, no. game. video games. We video sure. games. Definitely okay. something I'm sure that um, I had an argument about as a kid. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, the uh, Super NES or just the NES. Man, I'm really good at myself uh, this game. Toys. <laughs> we did say toys. That wasn't on the list. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's no toys or any kind of further entertainment or. I speak. I speak with him more than a half an hour. Okay. What about? What's something uh, that you might argue with other people too about, about how do I word this? Some people, I don't know how to word this. Uh, this one is that's very like, relevant to our last question. This is just like here to there. I don't know how to give good quotes. Oh. It relates to the last question, the last prompt that we had. Yep. Hmm. What was Which the was all question? about places to eat, right? No. So what's something that you might, might argue? Like, oh, yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> you might argue over food. I know for me, I like often bring home a lot of leftovers from going out to eat somewhere. And my brother would always eat them on me. And I'm like, that was mine. I had to label them with my name all over it. Yeah. All right. And then so there's two more. If you guys have any other guesses or if you want to me to reveal them, that's okay too. But let me know. Do you guys want to guess or do you want to see what they are? Uh, maybe what is something you might ask or get your parents uh, involved in this one? A question they don't want to answer. Another one is kind of about your living space. Do you guys want to see what the answers are and go to the next prompt? Uh -huh. You can't go and see me. Yeah. Yeah, let's check out the prompts, right? Keep it moving. Uh, okay. um, number four is who's more loved? Is, uh, is there a favorite? Oh. Wow. <laughs> 
That's me and my okay. sister. <laughs> right. Oh man. And um, sharing a room if you oh, share yeah. room with someone, that's something you might be fighting about. Okay. I love it. But very good answers. And you know, this probably just means that you guys, you know, didn't do that much fighting, which is a good thing, right? Still to this day, my sister and I will always put uh, like love Erin, your number one daughter, and she'll uh, love you, your number one daughter. And then we try to like steal the other person's card and cross it out and put number two. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, number eight. All right, what do we have here? So Adam, we'll start with you. A profession right. or job that starts with the letter T. So a job with the letter T. And you know, as always, I'm sure there are many more that are on this list. What? Typist. Typist. No. I don't know. Tech CC said typist. Uh, yeah, not, not on the list, but that's a good one. Anna, what did you one. say? What about the person who comes in and, and uh, Adam, what's a what did you say? A job that starts with the letter T? Technician. Technician. Shallow. Yeah. No. Actually, technician. Actually, okay. excellent. And I see Adam, you say talk. I think that actually is a really good answer because someone whose job pretty much <laughs> involves a whole lot of that. Telemarketer. Telemarketer. Excellent. All right, Dylan, you're up. Any guesses for a job that starts with the letter T? Um, I'm going to go with Target. Target? Oh, yeah. Like a Target worker? Yeah. Target. That's definitely a job. Starts with T. Not on the list. Good answer. Uh, William, any ideas for a job that starts with the letter T? Teacher. Teacher. That's the one Teacher. I was thinking about. Number yep. one. Excellent, William. Number one answer. Tech CC, you guys have any other answers for a job? Uh, well, a I would say therapist, but maybe it goes with yeah. <laughs> Therapist. Therapist is a great answer, but not one of the two that are left. Okay. Uh, a really good answer, though. Adam, any other ideas? Hmm. A what? Trainer. Trainer? Trainer? Oh, yes. That's a good one too. That's a really good right answer. On here. That's like um, Matt. He's yeah. a trainer. Uh, all right, Dylan, do you have any ideas? The last two are actually kind of similar to each other. I'm going to go with table worker. Oh. Mm. oh not on here. Not on there. William, do you have another yes. guess? For a job that starts with the letter T. The last two are both about transportation. Ooh. Michael, another, another profession starts with T. What letter? T. Truck huh? driver. And there's another kind of driver. driver. You got it, William. Oh, oh Dylan, you got it. Yeah, you guys, we got them all. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Woo, look at all those man. points. Good job. And plenty more excellent answers. Yeah. yeah. Um, if we were doing like categories, it would be so many points. Categories. <laughs> Maybe we could do one more. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, prompt yeah. number nine, Tech CC, you guys are up. The prompt Ooh. is activities that are scary and fun uh, at the same time. Damn. Well, this is a good one. Okay, scary what do you think? And fun. Yeah. Fun at the same time. Okay. Scary and fun at the same time. Interesting. Do you know any activities that are fun and scary at the same time? Does anybody like going to Six Flags? Great adventure. What happens at what Six Flags? Uh, um, roller coaster, right? Roller coaster or something like that. Ooh, what about that? <laughs> it's scary too. <laughs> roller coaster. There we go. Right. We got number one. Ooh. Adam, any ideas of what is scary and fun at the same time? No. Mm -mm. Sorry, Adam, can you say that again? What are you hanging? Clowns. Oh, oh, oh yeah. good answer. Good answer. A lot of people would agree with you, Adam, including our trainer. <laughs> From IHT, right? <laughs> that's so funny. Oh man, um, it's clown is not on here, but I think that's a better answer than a lot of these. Really scary and fun. It's all Frankie's fault. <laughs> Dylan, any ideas? What's scary and fun at the same time? There's one that well. There's a very specific clown um, that is quite scary that I think would count as one of these answers. Okay. Um, oh. Hmm. Uh, Charlie Moo. Hmm. <laughs> Charlie Moo. Uh, hey, Dylan, have... I was thinking of one that happens, a place that, that you go around Halloween time. That's scary and fun. Trick or treating? Good guess. Trick or treating, that's good. Yeah. It's not, there's no trick or treating, but something that you might do around Halloween. Um, uh when you <laughs> that's hard to say about. what about is haunted house on the list mm -hmm. not a haunted house adam you said a scary doll do you have one in mind oh yeah oh okay. chucky right okay so chucky is a horror movie right the face oh, adam that was so okay. good okay what is that? I think Pennywise earlier. Guys, what about Halloween? I was Halloween? Oh no, Halloween's not on the no? list. I agree. Yeah. Anything to do with Halloween is like a great answer for this. William, what do you think? Something that is scary and fun at the same time. Um, these other three are more like activities. Oh boy, cowboy. A cowboy? Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Hey. Like uh, riding a bull? Oh, that's a good answer too. But not on here. Uh, hey. Some of these are like kind of like a classic activity that you think if someone likes to do really like I'm you know, adrenaline yeah. activities. Cowboy, oh, yes. So Frankie said they're like adrenaline activities. So what do you guys think? What are some things that kind of give you adrenaline? 
What are some activities? Good. Um, what do you think, Michael? Mm -hmm. Very tired. That gives you like adrenaline, like it's scary, but people do it for fun. Disney World. Disney World? Uh, well, not Disney World. I'm trying to think if there's something at Disney World that's like equivalent. <laughs> Uh, the uh, Tower of Terror. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's something that's like really scary that people do for fun? And some people are like, oh, I could never do that. Guy diving. Guy diving. Oh. So, typed wrong, but I'm assuming that's skydiving. Wow. <laughs> Guy driving. Good Good guess. Yeah. Both would be scary. Good job, skydiving. And then there's another one that's kind of similar, a little bit less scary than jumping out of a plane, I guess, but on that order. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> True. What's kind of like skydiving? Bungee jumping. Bungee yeah. jumping. Yep. Wow. One more last. Wow. Smith stuff. Ooh, Adam, excellent answer. What Swimming was it? with shark. Oh, that's a really good answer. I wish I could say that right now. <laughs> <laughs> William, do you have another answer for something that's uh, gets your adrenaline pumping that people do for fun? River. Like river. Can you say that again? Live like, a live river? No, like, Ooh, um, like canoeing. That's what maybe I'm saying. Oh. Like, oh. the okay, like, that's a good answer. Rafting. Yeah, that's a really good answer. It's something um, that you are like in in like a vehicle or something. <laughs> mm. What's something that, oh, motorcycle. Oh, mo you know what, I'm gonna count, I'll count that for the motorcycle, I think is a great version. This is just as driving fast. So I was thinking maybe like a motorcycle or like if you're like racing, like that sort of thing, like mm -hmm. someone, hopefully you're doing it safe. If you're doing it. <laughs> Good job. So Excellent. We got all right. Woo! We got so many points and it's perfect timing. Yeah. Wow. All right. So that was a really oh. great job, everyone. Thank you for trying out Family Feud. It's the first time we've done that. I and love that game. I'm glad you like it. I know it's a little hard when you're saying things that are perfectly <laughs> reasonable answers and they're not yes. so on the board. Yeah. I want to know who them. these people are they're asking. Right? That's the thing. <laughs> You guys have great answers. Really good. Awesome job. So thank you guys so much for coming and for joining us. Um, yeah. Feel free to join our programming tomorrow, Friday. We're having Matt come to do some personal training. I know Adam will see you there. And I hope you guys have a terrific Thursday, fantastic Friday, and a wonderful weekend. And then William, if you want, I can stay on and we can talk about your voting quote. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Perfect. Or you want to do more? Uh, more? You want to? You want to stay on? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Right. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank Thanks. you. Thank Take you. Care.